What's up guys, this is Hardik here. So today with me I'm having my Nexus 5X and we already have a ROM based on Android 8.0 uh, which is called as AOSP Extended and it's still on the alpha mode. I mean it's not stable enough but yeah today I'll be showing you all the new features that we get on this ROM and also at the end I'll show you how to flash it on your device. So yeah without any further ado, let's get started. So I flashed the ROM a couple of months back and uh, I had my first boot and everything but yeah quickly jumping into settings uh let's see what all we got so as you can see we have the basic uh settings with the blue accents so yeah we'll just go on to the settings and uh check on what all new features we have so again in the network and internet uh everything's like the same exact thing that we get on all the roms uh going back we have connected devices again nfc and stuff basic things then going back we have apps and notifications uh so yeah again all the basic things the led light and stuff like that also swipe finger for notifications so if you just slide down your finger you get to the notification tray and stuff then going back uh we have extensions so this uh here is the new feature which comes along with the rom itself so you get quite a few customizations so if you go into status bar items uh, as you can see we have show 4g instead of lte so let's see if your data is on it will show 4G instead of your LTE. Then we have all the basic things like headset and stuff, time. Okay, so this is like the same exact thing that we used to get in the system UI tuner. So going back, we have traffic indicator. So I already have it on my device. Uh, it pops in in between. Uh, so yeah, if you want that, you could select that. But if you don't, just disable that. Then going back again, we have MISC extensions. So nothing much. We have double tap to sleep. Uh, so I'll just disable that also brightness control basic things that we get on all the ROMs then we have notification panel so we could customize the quick setting toggles let's see so we have the quick pull down I like it to the right so yeah that's where it is uh, also smart pull down so again going back we have notifications so it says force expand so so I could turn it on if you want Then going back we have navigation bar so uh, let's see nav bar tuner again all the things that we used to get on the system ui tuner are right over here so let's see if you want compact as you can see the nav bar shrinks but yeah i'll just be sticking to normal for now so yeah going back again uh, i think uh, we could enable the picture in picture mode using this feature uh, but i'm not sure uh, again going back we have double tap to sleep I'll disable that again then going into recent so we do get the recent UI as well so if you want a memory bar you could select that and clear all location uh, let's see I like it on the top right there you go that's very too long so okay if you unselect that you get the clear all by default which is much more cleaner so yeah just wanted you to know then swiping left to lock screen again we have lock screen ui so disable this double tap to sleep again i don't like it and lock screen tuner i guess we could customize the two buttons that we get on the lock screen okay yeah so left shortcut and right shortcut you could customize that as per your wish and then again going back into system we have general tweaks uh it says apps icon on toast uh, battery charging light which I'll disable again uh, but yeah we have buttons so power menu you could customize what all you want on the power button or the power menu itself uh, let's see I don't like advanced restart but yeah other than that everything's fine uh, then going back again these were the customizations so going back we have battery again all the uh, basic things so battery percentage if you want you could enable that as well so going back we have display uh, again night light and all the basic things that you get on to your 8.0 rom so okay so we do have something called as device theme here uh, okay so right now it's on pixel let's see if I do stock okay everything turns green when I do stock so okay so that's pretty cool again going to display scroll down and pixel and everything turns blue so that's <laughs> that's like really cool i mean they give you all the options if you want the stock nexus 5x look 
uh, you could do that or else you could select the pixel look as well then going back we have sounds again i don't think there may be any changes all the basic things uh yeah so going back again we have security and location user accounts system uh then we'll go into about phone and as you can see this is the uh aosp extended alpha 5.0 Again, it is an unofficial build, not an official build, so bugs may be present. I mean, yeah, there are chances that you could go through some force closures and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, leave it on me. I'll update you uh, on this ROM as well. So yeah, again, Android version is 8.0. As you can see, AOSP extended. Uh, then again, let's go back. And let's see, we have the extended version as well so there you go aex and then let's see what else we have so if we enable the developer options okay uh they are enabled by default so here are they and let's see first of all we have the debugging enabled and uh, let's see what else okay so do we do have the bluetooth codec as well in this rom yeah, again, all the basic developer options uh, that we have on all the devices. Again, if you go into launcher settings, as you can see, we do get to choose the icon pack. So right now it's the default one. Uh, we also have the notification dots. We have adaptive icons, even the icon mask. If you want to select the round icons or circle or teardrop, you could do that as well. So yeah, let's select circle. And if we hit home, as you can see, the icon changes to circle. Uh, but for some reason the icon shrink down its size so I don't know why it does that but let's select square and as you can see the icon does shrink down uh, into size but yeah I guess that will be fixed in the next software update but let's see if you go into wallpapers again let's see we have the uh, AEX papers so these are really really good ones I mean I have had experience with the past ROMs as well so these wallpapers are really really good as you can see we have tons of them and yeah they are really good so yeah I like the one we have here by default again let's see what else we have so in the apps we only have the AEX papers and uh, this year I think it's the browser it's via I, I don't know yeah it's the browser itself uh, I don't know how many people use it but I'm surely not using it then we do have the camera so the icon is a slight different one uh, but let's see I think it's the old Google camera yes it's the old Google camera uh, I don't know why did they stick to the old one but yeah I mean nothing much let's see let's see uh, the shutter speed if you want so if i just tap and if i snap so yeah that was quick but uh, again i don't know i don't like the old google camera on new roms but yeah again personal preference and yeah let's see uh, they may add the new one in the next update who knows so yeah i mean that's all for the apps uh, we do have the phonograph app as well so this is a music player app i used to use it before i mean in the past uh, i did really like this because you can customize the themes and stuff so this is like a really good um, music player but i already have the play music subscription so i may not use this but other than that that's pretty much it for the rom let me know if you guys want a revisited review for this rom i mean this is like only the new features and other stuff and yeah not a full review again let me know if you want a full review regarding the battery life and performance of this rom so yeah, let me know that in the comment section below i'll be happy to make it but yeah other than that that's pretty much it i'll just quickly show you how to flash it uh it's the same exact method that we get uh, or that we have on other devices so just have to do is hold on the power and volume down at the same time okay so this here as you can see is the new uh, boot animation so once into the fast boot mode just go into the recovery mode and i'm guessing you have a twrp recovery installed again make sure that you are having the latest one which i guess is 3.1.10 uh, so yeah that's the latest one so yeah once into the recovery just have to do is go into wipe going to advanced wipe and select the cache uh, data system and dalvik art cache 
so once everything selected just swipe to wipe and go home go into install and i'll be linking the rom file and everything in the description below uh okay so yeah i don't have it but i'll yeah i'll be linking it in the description below uh again there'll be a mega link and i'll also provide the xda page link in the description as well if you want but yeah just reboot system after you flash and do not install and again this is the boot animation that you get on the rom itself but yeah for now that's been it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and also let me know if you want a full review on this rom so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in my next one